there are many things that a workable factory art uh, can do to you, just like works in any um, artistic medium. Um, Schoenberg's music can make you feel like you're going crazy. Um, Francis Bacon's paintings make you feel terrified. Uh, Tavner's music makes you feel like you're floating. The artist of SO1 EO2 is one of the most important commercial forces in, uh, in uh, Scent today. He makes a hell of a lot of money for his patrons. Uh, when he is awarded commissions, uh, they are awarding the commissions to him because he has a great track record. The thing that's interesting for me, first of all, with uh, EO2 is that in this case, this patron has allowed him to do something with the commission that is extraordinary. So extraordinary that it has made of this work uh, something that has flown basically under the radar. And I'm very excited, very happy to be able to put this work in the Untitled series. I'm going to be doing a lot of this. This is, in my opinion, one of the great, great, uh, insanely underestimated uh, works of olfactory art on the market. It's been on the market for a number of years now. EO2, to me, is a work of olfactory science fiction. It is a plant, it's the way I've always perceived it, a very fragile, lovely, curling vine uh, with beautiful leaves, and it it's, it's growing, you feel the air in it, you feel the life in it, you smell the, the, the smell of the green of it, the, the, the scent of the chlorophyll, but this vine is growing in a garden that's set in some colony in outer space. When you smell this, um, you don't have a feeling of loveliness or relaxation or joy or delight or these other things. You actually have an intake of breath, a narrowing of the eyes, a, a feeling of what is this? And at the same time, a feeling of the absolute loveliness, the fragility of this vine that grows surrounded by the zero degree Kelvin vacuum that destroys everything. And by God, the artist actually managed to put the vacuum in, not, not as a scent, the vacuum doesn't have a scent, but as a feeling. It is truly deeply strange and, and strangely beautiful. It's absolutely wonderful. Um, the technical specs on this, I think, are, are uh, significant. Um, the diffusion is excellent. The persistence, given the materials that I assume the artist is using, is, 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 is terrific. Um, the structure is perfect. It's perfect structure. There's no, uh, there's no uh, crack. There's no aspect of it where, it, it, in any place where you would look at it or feel it or smell it, that there is anything but this sort of beautiful, sheen that's in the air and I think this is what's interesting because a perfume is something that you smell, that you perceive as a smell. EO2 is not a perfume. EO2 is not something that you necessarily smell and that is what is perhaps most ingenious of it at all. I have always felt that EO2 is something that you perceive.